Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prevent users from changing their DNS. So most of the time we would configure a DNS um, server or we might use the Rotores DNS or we might specify a DNS server here for the users to use. Um, some persons like using Google DNS or you could use some other DNS services say for instance you want to block certain websites you could even use Norton ConnectSafe DNS to do that but by putting in the DNS here um, the user can actually change the DNS um, on their from on their PC even on their phone they could change the DNS address to a different DNS and bypass um, all that your you are trying to prevent because a user could easily open their um, network connections and go to properties and they could put in a different IP address for a different DNS server so what what I'm going to do is to show you how to prevent users from from doing that by forcing all DNS um, packets to go to a particular DNS server. So what we're going to do is to go to firewall and we're going to create a destination NAT. So what we're going to do is to select destination NAT and the protocol should be UDP because that's the protocol that um, DNS operates on and we're going to put in port 53 that's support for DNS and uh, so you can choose the source IP address of the user or the users that you want to target or if you want to do it for the entire network you can leave it leave it as is and for action you are going to select destination NAT and then you are going to enter the IP address uh, for that DNS server so say for instance I want to force everybody to use Google DNS and I put in the port 53 and I can put a comment on so I'm forcing everyone now to use Google DNS so all browsing traffic will now um, check this DNS um, before it, it goes out so I'm going to do a test see if it works um, so now I just access um, a website and you can see traffic the traffic is going through this DNS because we have forwarded all DNS requests to Google DNS server so it's it's as simple as that um, so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching